I'll have to agree, man. Just the glaive is enough. Uh, you pick up a, a Durance, double down on Baksh's marks. Yep. Uh, you go for a lightning truncheon. You you go for a glowing wands. See, the thing about mages, uh, the thing about mages that most people underestimate is mages work off of one item. One item, you, there is no way you're going to have an Athena shield ready, and it's not the one item you rush every single time. So, lightning truncheon, you get the lightning truncheon. Even if you get just the clock of destinies, you're already pretty annoying. Yep, and that's the thing is, even if the opponent does get the Athena shield, they're reactive, yep. right? They're reactive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Land of Dawn. It's time for game one in this best of three. It's the clash of the Japanese and the Filipinos. Bren Esports versus 10 Seconds Gaming Frost. Yep. Now, Bren Esports is looking to control the uh, the, the early to mid game as much as possible. And especially for the side laners of Ribo, uh, it's great that 10 Seconds Gaming is looking to try and punish him early on, mainly because they know this isn't the greatest of matchups. So at least get that pressure early on, start those rotations real quick and force Brent to say, hey, you got to come down here to our side. Focus on us. Look here while 10 Seconds Gaming is looking to make sure Ling is going to be out in the open, taking his buffs, staying safe and scaling for that late game. Yep, I guess it's a matter of racing for resources, mm -hmm. right? And I think I give the advantage here very so slightly to Sheena on the Ling. The mobility is through the roof. Uh, not to count out um, Harley's uh, mobility as well, able to dash through his hat. But right now, Papa ooh, just showing up a bit bothering Carl Thiesi and Lusty. Hey, I got my purple, let me get my orange, says Carl Thiesi, but Papa keeps up. Ooh, 70 about to answer as well. Uh-huh, and now Carl Thiesi, he's got to get out, out of there, there. Uh, especially when 70 is walking off that point and click stun is extremely annoying here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Papa! Oh, one more. Papa's going to live, though. He goes ahead and dashes out of there. Ribo gets a few hits from the dispersion, and they disengage. I think Carl Thiesi ended up with a... Orange as well. Yep, it took a while. I think that's mission accomplished for 10 seconds, anyways. Yep, I, I, they've done they've done their job here, and this is going to allow Sheena to just rotate even faster and look to punish as much as possible. See, now he's going to be jumping onto Rebo. I don't think he's going to be able to kill him here, but let's have a look. He goes for the dive. He takes a little bit of damage. Needs his swords to get on out of there. Dashes with the lunge. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one ult out again. One of the few nerfs that actually hit Ling uh, in, in recent times were uh, one, the energy, and two, his ult. His ult just has a longer cooldown now alongside Uranus, which maybe explains why we only saw Uranus once yesterday. So right now, that was a close first blood. Would have been good if it was on Ribo shut down this Festival of Blood wielding Lapu Lapu. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, doesn't hurt much for Sheena. Like, very, very mobile as a link. But right now, big fight up top. That's going to be Peko with the oh. Black Dragon 4 first blood drawn by El Capitan. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, what's really... For oh, wait, hold on. It might not be the end of it just yet. Uh, Papa, okay. Papa decides, you know what? He got the flicker. That's a big deal but now turtle this could be huge uh-huh that's going to be all four members of 10 seconds gaming frost coming in turtle just a flicker of health right now is that even a word nice way of the dragon on the flap tz sheena finishes the job with the tempest of blades this is a good win this is a big win especially for uh especially for 10 seconds gaming it's like all right sure we managed to get one we managed to get uh, the most important neutral objective for their team because exp is going to be a little bit more valuable than gold at this stage of the game they're one and one, three minutes in. Again, around 7k gold, it looks pretty good. Svenja, he's going to try and control and get that early uh, or early stages to slow them down. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's That's in so much trouble. One by few with the Feathered Air Strike. And oh, misses. The Numenon Blast gets shut down. That's a double for the Farsa. Brenny Sports is feeling it. Three to one currently, and they're building this lead. It's slowly but surely just way above 2,000 now. No, this is a huge problem because, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. They Gina. They want more. Sheena needs a little more energy. He's got an orange. Oh, Flaptizi and Lust able to roll oh, out. Okay. N luckily, they didn't punish him here because Bren, they could have easily punished that red, uh, sorry, that orange side so, so quickly. But wait, onto what was mid. Ooh. Oh, they get the pick off of a lifetime. But Peko, he wants to go in for a little bit more. Pew, he's just going to go for side by side. Birds and dragons. Birds mm. and bees, all the same. Wings by wings out of there. Was close, though, but I uh, got to say, kudos to Papa, able to catch out Lusty. Yeah. And again, if they just managed to again, get that kill, run straight away because they have the timers on those buffs. If they knew the timers, they would have known straight away that Sheena would have been there, taken it away, and slowed down the progression. Mm -hmm. Now noting, once more, Lusty here has pull yourself together. So any kills on him is, you know, halfway a wasted effort. Like, he's just going to be back all those sooner anyways. So right now, Sevnia waiting in the wings. I wonder, oh, I think they know. That's four members of Brenny Sports mm -hmm. in the bushes. Sheena able to answer back. So far, almost five minutes into the game, and this Lolita is doing okay. Like, 
we could ask for more. Uh, it's, I think it's the, more of the con confirmed stun that they're looking for here. That they yeah. need. The confirmed stun is is absolutely great, but more importantly, it's just the fact that she can slow down, uh, slow them down in the early game. Ooh. Oh, hold on, and they're trying to make a play here. What's going on here? Huh? Okay, interesting. Oh. It's going to be a wombo combo, but they miss it, and now another feathered airstrike pushes away. Ten seconds, gaming frost from Brandy Sports Jungle. There's the Poissons popped in by Flap TZ. Obuyan already taken out. They regret that wombo combo. They regret the flashy moves because they're gonna be losing two. That's Papa following up Sevnia. He's gonna survive, but just this once because they have let go and now they've changed their targets. It's gonna be mid. Sheena, Tempest of Blades out. Yeah, Sheena is gonna be hopping on away. I think that was some really creative plays coming in from 10 seconds. Even the idea was definitely there where it's mm -hmm. like, hey, I know you want a turtle, but if you guys are pushed up really far on towards the bottom side jungle, you won't notice us just steal away your buff. Great idea in theory. At the end of the day, didn't exactly work out thanks to Brent having a good spread and control over the mid, but now the full engagement occurs. Oh, there's the Imperial Justice plus the Feathered oh. Airstrike. Oh, the drip, you feel it. Nice usage of the sticker, by the way. I bet Brent Esports is just waiting to play their second match tonight. But first, they're going to convert and Gideon, oh, six to two currently under six minutes yep. and we're approaching no man's land which by the way is early game with a 5k gold lead it's very hard to come back yeah this is it's a difficult position to come back from because Brent is naturally going to say hey as long as we don't fight we're going to hit our power spikes first and we're going to be able to muscle you off of uh, off of your tier twos because getting your second item for a lot of them uh, from the side of Brent Esports is looking great as they get another pick off here on towards that top side little to nothing they can do about this mm -hmm. Pico has to pop the ult to survive it's few and flap easy putting so much pressure Pressure. Ooh, just these two. The Poissons puts him in place, and Pico going to survive, but only for more than a second as Few destroys him. Off camera, Papa. We almost missed that, but Kaltizi shut down here by Obuyan as he picks up his enchanted talisman. So this is what we were talking about. Like that one item that just makes him go online that much faster. But I gotta ask you, Gideon, is it too late? Is, is Obuyan a little too late? Because they spent so much time trying to set up that earlier Divergent play. Uh, I mean, that Divergent play did cost them a little bit. At the end of the day, they're only 3k behind, six, min six minutes going into uh, seven. Let's look at the item list and let's see the, the actual damage in terms of numbers here. Because Sheena, he looks like he's maintaining and even, uh, he might even be arguably a little bit ahead of Carl Tizi. As we double check right now, it's going to be four, uh, 44 to 45. So he's, he's literally only 200 gold away. Mm -hmm. So he didn't lose too much much overall he's got uh, he's got papa who has that blade of hep to seize to add for the extra damage overall I don't think it hurts too much at the end of the day yep. but Bren if they could force something onto 10 seconds uh, 10 seconds gaming that could be their breaking point yep I'm guessing they can also just um, nullify the pick on the Lolita all in like just there's so much that they have to do. Hold up, nice. Look at this from the uh, bottom. Yep. Oh, nice usage of the diversion. Few being pushed away and finished off by Sheena. And that's going to be two. Oh, just one. They're trading it for the turtle. Oh, Brenny Sports needs to disengage. That's going to be flapped. Easy caught out. That's two for none. Currently, Lusty bites it. And there's the Numenon Blast. Oh, he's going to be able to do it. That's going to be Savnia traded out two for one. So far, two for two. Carl Tizio forgot to put the baby boy to sleep. Oh, and it's not over yet. Obi-Wan is going to be the next to fall. So it ends Hooray! up being worth absolutely nothing. They trade four. Uh, they trade. They ended up trading four, four, three members. And uh, that, uh, it was looking so good for 10 seconds gaming. I, 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 I'm at a loss of four words because 10 seconds gaming literally had everything to win there. All they had to do was make sure that uh, they didn't get hit by the Noob Knob Blast. And they did. Mm -hmm. They got it off, but I guess it's the damage that was lacking. Now, Kaltizi retreat behind few and few says I got you stay under my wings feathered airstrike destroys Sevnia but I'll be back very very shortly again also on pull yourself together now they're gonna be pressuring this orange buff and as well this second tier turret up top yeah 10 seconds gaming the car at the current pace they really need to hit oh no Papa gonna get hit He's Ooh, gonna get no. Imperial justice from underneath Carl TZ follows through the shutdown earlier Ain't nothing but a thing. Mega kill. He's back in the game. And that's going to be a push. All the while, Flapteezy kept bottom lane busy. That's something we didn't note. Brandy Sports, sure, they got surprised, caught off guard by the second big diversion play, but they've also been managing their way very well. Yeah, and Sheena, he's going to be using his all just to dodge the deadly magic here. Bren is going to take full advantage of their item power spike at the 28k mark, and uh, they, I mean, they're just forcing, muscling 10 seconds of gaming away, pick after pick after pick. There's literally nothing they can do to disengage. Uh-huh, Pico bites it there. It's a free 
take. There's there's nothing that Ten Tags Gaming Frost can take away from Bren because all the waves are crashing in. They're now penetrating. They're forcing Ten Tags Gaming Frost to answer. And I think the next step here is after this Lord possibly Seven survives. Ooh, just the sliver valve. Oh, the delay damage from the deadly magics. I was gonna say the choke out is following through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're doing a great job. Sheena can't get to his farm any any longer. And uh, oh, is he gonna make it? Yes, he does. And Lord is up for Bren. They can literally keep doing this and wait for it to turn into Lu uh, Luminous Lord if they wanted to, just to get maximum value and ensure that they can break an inhibitor wide open. Mm -hmm. I actually thought that top lane was going to drop really soon because they were lacking one or two at any given time. But uh, kudos to where kudos is due. Sheena it hasn't died yet. So yep. Sheena has been doing well to keep himself alive. But I guess that, that comes at the cost of Sevnia and Papa. Like, Sevnia and Papa keep getting just caught out. Yeah, they get caught out way too often. I mean, the endless battle being fought on Sheena here, as they need to stick together as a team, they don't have an option. Is Brent going to engage? Ooh, Lusty takes quite a beating, and now Pico looks low. Numenon Blast charged up. They hit one, but Pico bites it. Carl Teasy is godlike. And from behind, nice take up by Rebo onto Obion. That's two for none so far, and they're forced to retreat. This is their own jungle. This is their own side of the map, and Few takes a few hits from Sheena, mm -hmm. and they disengage. Flap Teasy rolling out. He knows Papa's here, guys. Papa's here. We can't take Lord just yet. Oh, that must be so frustrating for Sheena, especially. Like, he sees three low people. It's like, I can't finish any one of them. But now Sevnia, he's going to be the next to fall. That Deadly Magic should finish him off, especially with the Genius Wand. And uh, the, again, the rotations are good, and it is coming out from 10 Seconds Gaming. But they aren't necessarily profiting off of them. Mm -hmm. I think uh, their last big team fight came off of potentially that Numenon Blast. Yep. But it's just come to the point where in this 7K gold lead, and I'm rounding down, this 7K gold lead is starting to show. Like you're feeling it now. If earlier it was what, like two or three tops, and just maybe half an item for Sheena, even if he hasn't been dying, now you feel it across the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, at this point in time, 10 Seconds Gaming, if they just get a little bit more time, if they can survive for the next five minutes, survive until the 16th minute of, that ga of this game, I think they have a chance of coming back. But two fights will should occur coming in from Bren as they could naturally force it. Papa, pap, uh, Papa just got his Blade of Despair. Kaltizi also getting another item purchase for himself. <laughs> and uh, Luminous Lord is up. This is Bren's esports to pull the trigger. Or they can force 10 Seconds Gaming into a potentially bad fight. Mm -hmm. That was the Glaive, by the way. You did mention that no matter what kind of magic defense you build, as long as you have the penetration, which by the way is a percentage base, yep. it's going to be trouble. So yeah. Tanks, Sevnia, or even Papa, Peko, man, it's not looking good. Now they start up the Lord. They're looking for an opening. There goes Peko, Black Dragon oh. form, trying to push people out. And at least they made him think twice. No, I mean, yeah, use your ultimates. Waste them. Waste all your key team fighting ultimates. Because, again, we are the one holding you hostage. We don't necessarily have to force anything. And if the moment 10 seconds gaming overextend, Bren will collapse and say, hey, we don't need the Lord to end this game. We're just going to kill you. Break your inhibitor turns. Come back to the Lord for this checkmate situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, Gideon, this actually is the Luminous Lord taken here, secured by Carl TZ. Sheena picks up uh, the uh, Berserker's uh, Fury. Man, I I'm wondering, I think if, if Sheena doesn't kill Carl TZ or Few, it'll be a waste. Now, Papa gets popped. Few with the Federal Airstrike maximum range. Impressive prioritization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really good. But now, as the Luminous Lord is going to be crashing in towards that top side, and Sheena, I mean, Sheena is doing his best to try and cut the cut the waves. He should have been doing this much earlier mm -hmm. on when he does get that purple buff to start cutting both bottom and as well as top. top just, just to buy time for uh, 10 seconds even to really start catching, uh, to start catching back up, especially for like Pico and especially for Sev uh, Sevnio, who is taking the brunt of this damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I've we've seen this before, right? Like uh, a Ling at six or seven minutes, especially if they're losing, that's when they start playing uh, the split push game. But yeah, I guess this is very reactive from Sheena, very, very reactive. And I guess it's what you can expect from a 302 um, Ling, like you're still kind of confident. And right now he's picking a fight with Flapteezy, and I think he's losing. He's losing to the side lane uh, Baksha. Like he has to back out of here. Uh -huh. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's as, as little as they can do is they're gonna get hit by the Feather Airstrike Ooh. and this is an end game situation. Yep, that's gonna be the way of the Dragon on the few. He purifies that and he gets out of there. Oh, Kaltizi gets a double Pico and Papa taken out. There's three defenders on the side of 10 Seconds Gaming Frost. 
make that two. Sheena goes down. Carl Tizi gets three, and it's just a matter of time, man. Feathered air strike from underneath your own base. No one is at home. It's wipeout. That's going to be game over here. Ooh, that's going to be the Brandy Sports trademark. Recall in your face. 14 minutes, 35 seconds down. Brandy Sports takes game number one. Yeah.